Daily in the body snatcher right here. It's a champ. Big up the sports and icon. Subscribe. Otherwise, I might pay you guys a visit. Now, when boxing returns, there are some fights I would like to see where British will take on British or or even if they don't have British nationality, if they're at least here in the UK, I think they live here in the UK and fight here in the UK, usually fight these kind of um, guys. So this is in case international borders don't open properly within the next 12 months. I mean, I'm sure they will, but just in case for me, these are the 15 fights that I personally would like to see. Don't get me wrong, there are plenty of other fights out there and you guys will have a list of certain fights that you would like to see that don't feature on this list and i'm probably going to end up agreeing with you for example there'll be fights that i'd like to see that's not in my top 15 such as a sonny edwards versus tommy frank i'd like to see that one charlie edwards finally get it on against cal yafai nick webb against cash ali dave allen versus tom little these kind of ones and of course there's plenty of fighters up here in the northeast that i'd like to see um joe laws get in there with april hunter getting there with steve robinson getting there where and so and so and so and so but these 15 are hopefully all names that you're fully aware of. And of course, they do involve some cross promotion between Eddie Hearn and Frank Warren as well. Much like, for example, one of the ones I mentioned there, Charlie was versus Cal Yafai. Charlie Edwards is now with Frank Warren. So here are the 15 fights that I want to see within the next 12 months. Will it happen? Probably not. But, you know, we're living in a fantasy world at the minute, right? So anyway, we're... I would like to see Tyson Fury versus Dillian White, and then the winner go take on Anthony Joshua. So that's two fights right there. Now you can do it, ask about face if you want, and say Tyson Fury straight away against Joshua, and then the winner go fight Dillian White. Either which way, I want to see those particular fights. Um, I want to see Kieran Conway take on Scott Fitzgerald for the British Super Welterweight title. And I want the winner of that fight to go fight the winner of Ted Cheeseman versus Anthony Fowler. So that's three fights right there. Um, I also want to see Luther Clay take on Conor Ben. That's a very interesting. That'd be a firecracker, that fight. So again, that's my personal opinion. I want to see that fight. I want to see Josh Kelly fight an Amir Khan. Of course, if Josh Kelly gets past David Avenesian and if Amir Khan, um, if he can't get, say, the Pacquiao fights, all these kind of fights that he's wanting, or the Kelbrook one, which is pretty much dead in the water anyway. For me, I'd love to see Josh Kelly take on Amir Khan. That way we'll see where both fighters are at in their careers. Is Amir Khan, is he fading off now? And let's see how good Josh Kelly is. For me, I'd love to see it. Speaking of Kelbrook, I'd love to see him take on Liam Smith. Get that fight done. Just, just get it done. Um, I want to see Thomas Patrick Ward take on former world champion Isaac Dogbo. Again, it'd be very interesting to see where both of these fighters are. Again, if they can't get a world title fight, which will probably end up being outside the UK anyway, if not, just get them two in the ring. That's my personal preference. I want to see Lewis Ritson, the Sandman, take on O'Hara Davis. But again, we know O'Hara Davis, he's got that fight for the, in the final of the uh, golden contract for MTK against Tyra McKenna. But, and of course, there's always talk about that Anthony Fowler fight and that as well. But personally, I want to see Lewis Ritson and O'Hara Davis as well. Again, all this is in the next 12 months of when boxing restarts, if all fights are happening here in the UK. Um, I want to see Huey Fury fight a David Price. Why not? I want to see Joshua Boazzi against Anthony Yard. Again, that's a bit of a cross-promotion, of course. And then the winner go take on... Callum Johnson, who hopefully at that point will be the, the European light heavyweight champion. So again, that's two fights. And to finish off with, of course, Daniel Dubois versus Joe Joyce. I really want to see that fight. And hopefully that fight's still going ahead. And, then, and I'd like to see the winner go take on Derek Chisora. Of course, if Derek Chisora ends up losing to Usyk, if he ends up beating Usyk, why would he want to bother with the winner of that one when he's looking at, Anth at an Anthony Joshua? So that's my 15. Of course, you drop me yours and... And you know what? There's probably plenty of other fights out there that, that you guys maybe go, oh yeah, I might see that one too. So anyway, that's my thoughts. You drop me yours. Click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you on the next video.